What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know you probably can't see me too well. That's because it's very, very early. Sun isn't even up yet. So sun is about to be up and we're about to get on some early, early fishing. Got a big rainstorm coming through. So I anticipate fishing through some rain. Got some thunderstorms coming through as well. So we're gonna play that by ear and see how that goes. Might need to retreat at some point. But today, Pimpin, the Pelican Bass Raider, super excited to get this little boat back out on the water again. I made a video on the channel featuring the dolly, custom dolly, just for this boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up. Haven't really shown much on the channel using it a whole lot. You know, with two boats and a lot of boat ramps, I don't always need the dolly, but this is when it comes in perfectly handy. When the boat launch, actually there's no boat launch, but where the launching of the boat will be right down there, there is no boat ramp, hand launch only. So I'm about to strap it up right now. If you've missed a dolly bill video, link at the top of the screen, check that out. Especially if you have a Pelican Bass Raider. Oh, I'm missing some numbers here. Wow, I didn't even notice that. So once you have the dolly made, all you gotta do is get a ratchet strap and strap it up underneath on both sides. Got two little eyelets right here to hook up the ratchet straps to. And thanks to the feedback of everybody on the channel, I am gonna put the dolly in the middle of the boat this time. When I initially did it, let me get out the street before I get hit by a car. When I initially did it, I had the dolly positioned at one of the far ends of the boat, which made the other end where I was lifting it from very, very heavy. So thanks guys, let's get at it. There you have it. That worked out 10 times easier than the first time I did it. Literally when I made the dolly, I came out to this very lake actually and put a video to, for you guys together. All right, so I'm just gonna throw some stuff in the boat and I'll be lifting it from this side and just walking it right around down there. All right, we're all set, ready to go. Didn't take long, maybe about 10 minutes to set the boat up and it's time to go fishing, guys. I haven't really featured a lot of my setup when I'm about to go fishing outside of, you know, just showing you mods and stuff on this boat, but this is my setup. And if you haven't seen the video, I mean, I did a full video on all the mods, so link at the top of the screen for that as well. Definitely check that out. If you're interested in Pelican Bass Raider, some really good information I put out there on the channel, check that out. This is a basic setup from my one-man operation. Travel a little bit light on tackle. So I actually got my bank fishing bag right there. Little cooler with some drinks. Got my net. And if you're ever curious, like how many rods can you really take on a Bass Raider? Here you go, guys. I've got nine rods with me today. I do pack a lot of rods because I hate changing baits because it's less time fishing. So how I like to run this is just have eight rods on the side track. Two, four, six, eight and one in my hand. I mean, we stacked this thing up with over 10 rods between my brother and I and it works. All right. So there you go, guys. There you go. I've got a really shallow flat here and spotted some fish on the graph already. So I'm gonna cover some water with the whopper plopper. So I'm gonna toss this around. Might throw a crankbait around as well as I comb this bank. This isn't the ideal color plopper I wanna throw. I think this one's called Yoda. It's kinda like a goldish color. I don't even know what it imitates, but it's the only plopper I have in a boat. I left my favorite black one at home, so. Work of what we got. Was not expecting this color water right here. I mean, it's probably six inches of visibility. Whopper plopper down. I right, switched over to a chatterbait and I'm going with this because it vibrates, makes a lot of noise. And with this limited visibility, this hopefully will attract more fish. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I think something bumped me. I think something bumped me. Whatever it was, you missed. Let me slow my retrieve. Come back for it, buddy. I'm right here. What is that? Yeah, something. Got him. Got him. Yeah, I got him. Got him. I kept feeling the missed bites. Come on. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. Get in the boat. Decent, decent, decent bass. Right in the nose. Nice. Look at that, man. He wasn't coming off at all. Straight through the nose. Done deal. Signed, sealed, delivered. Chunky guy. Look at that. First bass of the day. Man, these geese are like notorious. Be quiet. Trying to make a video. Nice. You a hungry guy. Healthy looking fish. A little pale, but nice looking guy. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for budding. All right. Don't jump in my boat. Don't jump in my boat. I'm trying to release you. On a chatterbait. Again, chatterbait's been working for me this year. Big, big time. I guess because I'm throwing it a lot, but I'm going to toss back in there. See if I can pick up another one. You know, bass, they travel together. But that was interesting. I, I felt at least three missed strikes. So that tells me one, fish the bait a little bit slower. Two, this may be the right color. I'm gonna stick with the dark colors for now because this water is so stained. All right, first fish in the boat took about 20 to 30 minutes. So not too bad. I'm just gonna follow the chatterbait up with black and blue bandito bug just to make sure there's nothing else hungry back here. Oh, got one bite. There's another bite. There we go. Got another one, same spot. Followed it up with the bandito bug. And let's get them in the boat quick. Let's get them in the boat quick. Fish are active today. Oh, it just came off. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, buddy. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I got you, buddy. I got you. Everything's working out. A little bit smaller, but very healthy looking bass. He nailed the bandito bug. So the idea is you start with a moving bait, start with something that they have to chase down and finish that up with something that moves slower, soft plastic creature bait or craw, any kind of soft plastic. All right, look at that, bass number two. All right, buddy, he was not hooked that well, so I'm glad I brought him in pretty quick. Hook popped right out. All right, so off to a decent start this morning. Picked up those two bass pretty quickly. I haven't fished this lake much over the last few years and so I don't know what's going on out here. I'm gonna figure it out though. I've got a game plan. I've got some water that I wanna get to and, and see what it does. I've got some breaks in the clouds, man. So I might get some extra fishing time out here today before this thunderstorm rolls in. We've got some severe weather coming through today, but I'm prepared to fish through the rain. As long as it's not lightning, I'll be okay. That's the idea. We're on the bank. Let's go again, let's go. Right next to the lay down. Ooh, where we go, right next to the lay down. All right, got one. Got one. Get in here, buddy. And turn off this motor. There you go. There you go. Hooked right in the nose. Right in the gizzer. All right, I pulled up to this lay down. Decided to just pitch into it with the Texas rig and. Found this guy in there, a little dinky guy. He wanted it and he got it. Healthy looking bass right here. That's fish number three. All of these fish are pretty healthy. You can tell they're feeding up. Let's get him back in. Right now, black and blue is the ticket. Definitely felt good to get that one on. It's been about an hour. Tried a couple different things, fishing offshore. I'm almost at the halfway point of this lake which is good. It's nine o'clock. It's supposed to be raining right now and pretty happy the rain is held up. Come on, come on, here we go. Ooh, all right, I missed it. Missed bite, hey, look at my bait. Totally missed it. I think I got a stump or something right here. I keep going over and there's some fish hanging around it. Ooh, <laughs> I had some bites right here. I set the crap out of that hook. Broke off my bait, my leader, everything. My bait went flying behind me. All right, these clouds are definitely getting dark. This storm is gonna be coming through here, I would imagine within an hour or so. Still got three fish in a boat, trying to pull in that fourth and hopefully fifth. See if I can put a bag together. Ooh. 
Ooh, I felt like I just had a missed strike. Come on, baby. Got to get one bass off this bank right here. Sounds like we got some heavier rain coming too, and it's it's pouring down right now. Just got the GoPro peeking out the jacket. Try to give you guys some kind of view. Hopefully, I don't have to shut the camera down. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I gotta bring this guy in quick. I gotta bring this, stay down, stay down. Here we go guys, in the rain, my biggest fish of the day. I'm gonna try to get him in here quickly cause I'm not too sure about the hook set and he is fighting. Can I get my net? Oh my gosh, he's tugging. Uh, oh my gosh, he's tugging. Oh my gosh, he's tugging. Come on dude, come on dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Here we go, guys, in the rain. I love rain fishing, I'm telling you. If you're not out there fishing in the rain, guys, get with it. Get with it. Get with it. Yeah, you're a feisty guy. I tossed right over there by that lay down, guys. Oh, man, on the black and blue chatterbait. Biggest fish of the day. About a pound and a half, I would guess. Nice 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 he snagged it chatterbait i've got this this is just the original z-man chatterbait and i've got the kai tech dune bug 3.8 swim impact fat trailer it's my second fish on this right here fourth fish of the day look at that guy right there in the rain i'm getting prune fingers it's been over an hour since my last fish probably close to two hours so definitely a grind. Thank you for biting, guy. Thank you for biting, buddy. Made my day. I tell you, man, when the rain kicks up, the fish kick up too. All right, there you go, buddy. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hopefully you guys can see in here, I've got the jacket all crunched up with the GoPro, but doing my best to give you guys some content in the rain now man we we fished through cloud we fished through a little bit of sun and now it's pouring down rain gotta love it out here on the pelican bass raider i'm gonna have to pull my my scupper plug soon i'm accumulating some water up in here love that bite he snagged it pretty much right away i'm still fishing the bank for the most part haven't had any action out offshore so i'm gonna stay where the fish are I don't care where they are, I'm gonna be there. I think that fish stayed on because he slammed it so hard. It wasn't really my hook set, at least that I can remember. Um, you know, hook sets become pretty automatic, but I didn't feel like I set the hook very well. And I think because he hit that bait so hard, he stayed pinned. Of course, I reeled him in as fast as I could, try to keep pressure on the line. Tight lines is not a, just a catchphrase, guys. It's a real thing. Keep those lines tight, keep that fish on. Oh man, it is coming down heavier and heavier. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Now I've never fished in this heavy rain. Wow. I almost cast it into that bird, man. Got one. Got one. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. I can't believe that. Ay, ay, ay. Mm, got a fish right off of this big tree. Hopefully he's a big one. Hopefully he's a big one. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. Come on, stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Yes, here we go. We are totally upsizing on this rain, man. I'm telling you, rain is the ish. Just started raining again, like three, four casts in. Pulled up to this big old tree sticking out. Some standing timber or laying timber. I don't know what that is, but went over there, nothing. Went to the right. He picked it up right away. Choked it. Choke the chatter. Bait. I got hooked in the bottom of the mouth. We are continuing to upsize. This is clearly a, a good solid two pounder right here. Yeah. 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 That's what that is. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Man, biggest one of the day. I actually want to weigh them. This should clearly be a two pounder. We're just having fun. Why not weigh them? There we go. 
All right, well, I got saw 2.2 on here. He's about to jump off my scale. He's about to jump off my scale. 2.2 right here, guys. Excellent. I'm gonna let him go. Go find your little tree house again. All right. trying to get this Kitek to just last the rest of the day. I need to glue this trail on, but it's raining, it's wet. I'm just gonna finish up. I am gonna retie this because I've caught two, three fish on this. Fishing in the rain is awesome, as long as it's not too cold. I mean, as long as it's warm enough and there's no lightning out there, it's actually an awesome, awesome time to fish. If you don't mind getting a little wet, being exposed to the elements, all that stuff, the trade-off is some really, really good fishing. All right, rain's picking up. Here we go again. Oh, got another one. Oh, my gosh. He's a, he's a nice one. I swear this is another two. He looks just as big as the last one, guys. Oh, get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Oh my gosh, God. I'm getting so tired, I can't even lift the net up. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh my gosh. Bunch of fish hung up right here by this lay down. The rain has got them fired up. I am struggling to keep my lens dry and keep my camera on, but I'm working it as best as I can. Look at that. Look at that. You wanted this. I know, I know. I know he is an angry guy. Jeez, you breaking my scale, man. Got my scale reading point two. That's not it. Another two pounder. This one's pretty much the exact same size as the last one. Sorry, guys, if my screen's wet and you guys can't hear me, but I'm doing my best. Look at these quality, quality bass. Chatterbait's doing it, man. Little bloody tail. What have you been up to, man? What have you been up to? But this fish looks good. Very healthy looking guy. Right over there again. Same, same deal. I didn't even slow it down yet. Still throwing a chatterbait. I'm gonna fish this <laughs> lay down. This is probably the best, most productive lay down I've had all year. Excellent, excellent. And I just retied my bait, so I'm really happy I did that. I'd have hate to have lost that fish on frayed line or a bad knot or whatever. Yeah, they're hanging out around this thing for sure. Fishing in my Crocs. <laughs> I'm gonna give this tree a rest and I'm gonna go play with those over there. Got some standing timber. It's probably about three feet over there. See what happens if anything's lurking. I'm gonna toss a chatterbait around that. Then I'll probably circle back, hit this back up with a worm or something. And that'll be probably be it, guys. It's eight feet over here, at least where the boat is. I am a little surprised about that because I'm actually close to the bank where I launched the boat. There's my car right there. Mm, here we go. Ooh, something bit at it. Ah, he had the tail of it or something. Let's get back in there. I saw my bait start to move sideways. Hit the tree for good luck. Yes, got enough. Oh, he's nice too. He's nice too. Get it, get it. All right, we're gonna both flip this guy. We're gonna both. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, I lost him. Same size fish. That's the pattern, all two pounders. That's what I get. Don't know how much of that you saw. <laughs> I dove down in the boat, tried to keep that fish in. He landed right on the side of the boat. And as soon as I went like that to try to smack him in the boat, he jumped out. That's what I get for trying to boat flip him. I should have netted him like I did the others. Lesson learned, lesson learned for me. Should have grabbed the net, should have grabbed the net. Ah, that's what I get. Thought I had it all figured out, thought I had it made, and lost that one. There you have it. What an epic day of fishing, I tell you what. Caught fish all day, but the bite picked up in the rain. Absolutely love it. I love rain fishing, and you guys got to see why. The bite picked up in numbers as well as size. The chatterbait did absolutely awesome. Caught most of my fish on that. Also caught on the bandito bug. Can't forget the bandito. Two awesome baits did absolutely well today. It's actually hard to leave the water. You know, it's summertime, temperatures are down because of the rain. I wanted to stay out there all day into the night, but I probably did about six to eight hours just now. Um, but again, it didn't feel like it. Just had a, had, a, had a blast out here on the lake. I'm about to get out of here. Everything is tucked away. The Bass Raider is ready to go. Let me know if you want to see more fishing on the Bass Raider. I can't stop saying it. You guys know I love that boat. 
One thing I love about the Bass Raider is it's stealthy. And when you really want to try to creep up on bass, the Bass Raider is very quiet and gets the job done. Absolutely love it. But yeah, it's time to get out of here. If you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, leave us a like down below. Also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to get out of here and dry off, man. What an awesome day. Can't wait to see you on the next video. You guys hang in there. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.